What's up deckheads? Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys the top five utilities that I believe every Steam Deck owner should have on your Steam Deck. These utilities are must have and I feel like with these utilities on your Steam Deck, it makes your Steam Deck completely different and a game changer. So if that's something you guys were interested in, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. Let's get right into this video. So the first utility that I want to showcase here is Cryobot Utilities. So this is pretty easy to get. All you have to do is just go to the website and download it. Personally, I feel like every Steam Deck owner should have Cryo Utilities on the Steam Deck. And I believe going forward, this is something that Valve should actually make to work on all the Steam Deck. With Cry Utilities, you should get better performance in your Steam Deck when it comes to some games. Now, this doesn't work for every single game. And I have seen some games actually benefit when it comes to performance using this. So I would just encourage you guys to take a look at it. And this is one that I feel like should be a no-brainer if you want your games to run better on the Steam Deck. Now the second utility is one called Emmy Deck and this one's pretty easy to install. Now again, I've done a video showcasing how you can install this one so I'll link it in the description below. But something I love about Emmy Deck is that if you're into emulation, this does a good job just simplifying the whole process of emulating on your deck. All you have to do in this one is just go and download it and give it permission and with that it does create a whole folder dedicated to emulation and then all you have to do is just drag and drop your games into those folders and it should work pretty easily but there are some emulators that you do have to do extra stuff with for instance if you're trying to play the nintendo switch on here or if you're trying to use the playstation 3 emulators you do have to mess with the bios and stuff like that but it's not that complicated again these videos already showcasing how you do this this i believe is the easiest method to emulate on your steam deck so again this is one that if you're into emulation and steam deck that you do on your steam deck so again it's emmy deck all right so continuing on the emmy deck theme something that people are not aware of is that emmy deck has a section to where you can get cloud services you can do stuff like download remote streaming web apps and also you can download other cloud web apps stuff like netflix or xbox cloud gaming stuff like that there's actually a way for you to use emmy deck to get those web apps and again i have a dedicated video on that so i would highly recommend that you guys take a look at that if you guys were interested so another utility that i want to highlight here is one called non-steam game launcher and with this utility it gives you easy access to all of your launches so for instance, stuff like Epic Games, stuff like Amazon Games, stuff like Battle.net. If you were interested in all these launches, this method just brings it to you with a click of a button. It's pretty easy. Again, I've done a video showcasing how you can do this. I'll link it in the description below, but this is an easy method for you to get all of your launches on the Steam Deck without having to mess around with your device a lot. Now another utility is one called Decky Loader Plugins and with this utility you can customize your Steam Deck to the way that you like it. So there are different plugins that you can get here. There's one called Vibrant Deck that actually lets you saturate your screen to make it brighter and make the colors pop out more. There's another plugin here that lets you customize the look and feel of your Steam Deck. So again you can change the colors. So there's so many plugins here that enriches your Steam Deck experience. So I would highly recommend Decky Loader if you are interested to just customizing and messing with your Steam Deck to make it look different. So the final utility that I want to highlight here is one called Proton QT. And with this utility it makes it possible to play some games that previously were not supported because they didn't have the right Proton. So I've noticed with Proton QT there are games that just doesn't work. And if you use Proton QT, this actually makes the game work. So I would highly recommend this if you guys are struggling to launch a game on the Steam Deck, it might not be working. Check out Proton QT. This one's also easy to install on the Steam Deck. Again, you just go to the Discover Store and look up Proton QT, install it, and you're good to go. And then Proton QT, you just have to download the latest Proton GE, and that's it. You're good to go. All you have to do is just go to game profile and choose that and that's it and you're good to go so again check this one out if there are games that are struggling to launch a new deck give proton qt a try all right deckheads that's all the utilities that we have for you guys but let me know did you guys find this video helpful are there other utilities that are not listening to this video let me know in the comments below so others can find it but hope this video was helpful we'll catch you guys in the next one till next time little, little deckheads